Hey there, this is a tutorial for how to use SPID. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for this, not sure how to use it, so I sat down and figured it out, <laughs> mostly. Um, so I'm going to be using the Crimson Twilight Armor mod and the Awakening of Vampires Skyrim mod. Uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of these for some explanations and some examples throughout the tutorial. So let's get started. First things first, the question is, where do we store this file? We want to store it right here in our data folder. So we're gonna go to Skyrim Special Edition, wherever you've got that stored, and you're gonna go to your data folder, and you're gonna create a file right in here. I've already created one called tutorial underscore distro. That distro part at the end is what marks it as a file that in that uh, SPID is going to go through, and we need to make sure that it's an any type file. So we're going to open that up, and here we've got the examples. Now, before I start going through these examples, um, let's talk about the syntax of how to distribute an item to SPID. So first, we're going to explain the type. So that can be a spell, a perk, an item, a shout, whatever it is, we just need to say what type it is. Second, we've got the ID of the item that we're going to distribute. That is where we are going to need xedit. So make sure that you've got this program downloaded and installed and set up. Um, I'm gonna have a link to where you can find this program. Okay, so we've got this loaded up, and the ID that we're looking for is right here. This is the ID for the Crimson Twilight Armor. Not the boots or the gauntlets, just the armor. We don't need the whole thing, though. We only need the last little portion, because the system can figure out the rest of this. So, as we can see, we've got 0d65. Next, we've got our mod of origin. So this is where we're getting that item. So in this case, we're getting it from our Crimson Twilight Armor ESP. And all the other portions of our little line of code that we're writing here are all just filters explaining who we want to hand this item to and who we don't want to hand this item to. So this, the first filter that we're given is just very simple and very straightforward, the people that we're going to give it to. So in this case, I'm giving Ysolda the Crimson Armor. The next filter we have is the types of people to give. So that could be people from a certain faction, from various classes, people who use certain combat styles, various races, people who have certain outfits, things like that. All of that information can be found you guessed it, in xedit. So if we wanted to find a certain race, we can find it right here. So here we've got our Argonian race, and we find the editor ID, and the editor ID is what we're going to be using for these. We don't need the, the uh, other IDs, we only need the editor IDs. Next we've got the requirements, and the requirements are essentially level requirements. So if you want only people above level 10 to have a certain spell, this is where you would put it. We've got traits, and the traits are whether an NPC is a male, a female, whether they're unique, and whether they're summonable. Those are the only four traits. You can kind of mix and match those as well, and I'll show you how in a minute. Um, number eight, is the count. You're only going to use this for items, so if you want to give a specific NPC or a group of NPCs 7, 8, 12, 10,000 of a certain item, you do that here. And finally, 9 is the chance that any NPC that matches the requirements of the other filters you've put in will get any of those items. So I've got a few examples here that we're going to go over. So first off, we've got the item, we've got the editor ID, for the armor that I want to give, the file that it's coming from, and the person that we're going to give it to. Now we always use these bars to separate all of our filters, 
and that bar is found on your keyboard just below the backspace button. Moving on, we've got our first outfit that we're going to hand out. Know that the Crimson Armor outfit is a mod that I made and is not originally in the Crimson Armor mod. So I made that specifically for this tutorial. So we're saying that we want to hand out the Crimson Armor outfit. Now the reason we can type this in is SPID is okay with locating an item or a spell or any other type of object that we want to add via its editor ID. So if we come back and look at our mod, we can see that the editor ID is Crimson Armor Outfit with spaces. So remember that spaces and caps are all important. You miss some of that stuff and SPID is going to get really upset with you. And we can take a look at how to tell when SPID doesn't like what we've written at the end of this video. So we're giving the Crimson Armor outfit to Lilith Maiden Loom. She's an NPC in Whiterun. We can create keywords. So we create a keyword by saying we're going to make one. We're creating the actor type guard keyword. And we're saying that we want to get every single guard in the game. So this little star means anything as long as it ends with guard. So any NPC that ends with guards. What's nice is we can then use that to hand out that outfit to any NPC with this keyword, which is great. So this is once again still in number four, people to give. So we're putting this keyword right there, actor type guard. We've got our outfit right here, and we're going to use the technical method of accessing this. So we're going to go with the editor ID or the form ID that we can find right here. So 2DBF, we don't have to worry about these beginning numbers because the system can figure that stuff out. We only need the unique numbers. So we put 2DBF, put a little squiggly, say we're getting it from Crimson Twilight Armor. We are giving it to every NPC and we are giving it to those NPCs that are of the Red Guard race. Once again, this is the editor ID for Red Guard Race. Next, we've got our a spell that we're going to hand out. So this is from the vampire mod I was talking about earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that, and it doesn't matter if it comes from a mod, we can still access it by its editor ID. We can say we're going to give it to any NPC, but we're not going to give it to Jari Ra because he sent us to a lighthouse to crash a ship and then backstabbed us. So screw him. So he doesn't get this special spell, but every other Argonian is going to get this spell. Right here, we've got number six requirements. So this is saying that number the fifth skill, which with our cheat sheet over here is equal to heavy armor. The fifth skill has to be level 30. So we're giving bound gloves to any NPC except for Jari. That is an Argonian that has heavy armor above level 30. We've got a perk that we're going to hand out. We're going to hand out the perfect touch perk. This is the highest perk you can get in pickpocket. We're going to give that to any NPC with no limitations, but they have to be between levels 20 and 30, and they have to have skill 9, which is sneak, and that has to be between levels 10 and 40. So any NPC between level 20 and 30 that has a sneak, sneak skill between 10 and 40 gets perfect touch. Next, we're going to give out a spell. Okay, so we're going to give out the vanilla healing spell. We're going to give that, once again, to any NPC with no requirements on who they are associated with, no level requirements, but we're going to make sure that they are male. So we can see here that's number seven, traits. They have to be a male. If we wanted, we could change that to F and say that they have to all be female. 
Or if we wanted, we could go m slash u, which says they have to be male and they have to be unique. If we wanted, we could say male and summonable. We could say female and unique. We can do all of those things. One last item. We're accessing gold. So this is the form ID for gold. We're saying that it's in the Skyrim file. We're saying we're giving it to any NPC with no limitations, no level requirements, no traits, and we're giving them 3,000. But there's a 50% chance that any NPC is not going to receive it. So now what this is saying is we're giving any NPC in the world 3,000 gold, but there's a 50% chance they don't get it. So as you're writing these, you're going to run into issues with making sure that these work. And the easiest way to make sure that these are working is by using the spell perk item distribution log, which can be found in your documents folder. So we are going to go to documents, my games, Skyrim special edition, SKSE. In here, we are looking for PO3 underscore spell perk item distributor log. So we're going to open up that file, which I've got right here. This is telling us all the files that are loaded. It's telling us how all the lookups for the item IDs that we gave it. And it's telling us which items and perks and such were added to various NPCs. So we can look at this to see if we successfully added our items or if we did not. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we can see our Crimson Armor outfit. Here we are. Crimson Twilight Armor added to one NPC. And that was Yosalda. So Yosalda now has that item. Let's see. Down here, we've got three more uses of that because we've got three outfits that we're handing out. We can see we added it to one NPC, which is Lilith Maiden Loom. We added it to 840 more NPCs, which are our guards. And we added it to another 343 NPCs, which is our red guards. So I've loaded up Skyrim. As you can see, we've got Lilith Maiden Loom right here. She's wearing our new custom armor because we told, we said we wanted her to wear that. Pickpocket Yasalda, we can see she has just the arm, the chest piece in there. Due to the market. And we can also see this guy. He's a red guard, and we said we wanted him to have those items. So now he does, as you can see by his wrists, which are acting really weird. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I tried to cover everything that I possibly can. If you guys have any more questions or comments about things that I maybe missed or things that you're not quite understanding, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I wish you guys luck.